Now, they, they asked me to make a prayer to close this service, but Reverend Cosby threw down the gauntlet with that West End poem. So, I'm going to have to respond. This poem was written in Muhammad Ali's house. And Muhammad Ali was the first one to hear this poem. And I'm glad Mike Tyson left. <laughs> it's two parts. Part one is Ali the fighter. He floated like a butterfly and sting like a bee. The greatest fighter this world has yet to see. His opponents agree on one thing. They all got it right. In the ring with Ali, your life was in danger that night. Had he lived during the time of Jack Johnson, Joe Lewis, Marciano, and Max Melling, his superiority over all of the former would be telling. Had he fought Tyson or Holyfield at the height of his career, on the list of heavyweight champions, their names would not appear. If Reindeer could box, he would have put Donna and Blitzen. If presidents could fight, he would have put Richard Nixon. For his right was filled with power, and his left was relentless. He beat people so bad he had to engage in act of, acts of repentance. So when you discuss who was the greatest heavyweight of all time, to mention any name other than Ali's is a crime.